In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a dormer roof. I'm going to start out by going to New. Select the architectural template. I'm going to start out by going down to my elevations. I'll go to South Elevation. I'm going to add some elevations. Select Level 2, right mouse button, Create Similar. Pan across, select 10 feet, and we're going to create a we're going to create an elevation 10 feet above the one below it, and you should see a series of blue lines. We're going to connect. We're going to align this new elevation with these others. Come across, and when you're at this point you should see a dotted blue line telling you that these are lined up. Select it. And we're still in the similar command. I'm going to create another one, another level, and I'm going to go up uh, 13 feet. You should see this dotted blue line and set it at 13 feet. Come across. You should see a dotted blue line and place your level. Right mouse button cancel. Right mouse button cancel. Select the level tag and let's rename it this. Call this level level 2 top of plate. Let's rename this one. Call it dormer roof. It should look like this. Go up to floor plans and to level 2 top of plate. And let's create a new roof. Select roof. Select your rectangle tool. And draw approximately in the center. Draw a roof 40 by, the width is not that important, make it 40 by 80. Right mouse button cancel. Right mouse button cancel. Select this edge and turn off define slope and this edge and also turn off define slope. Select anywhere off the line. Go to your properties menu. And let's make this a steep roof, 45 degrees, make it 12-12, and finish your roof. You create some walls, good architecture to wall. And let's make this at level 2 top of plate. Actually, these walls would be a little bit higher than that. Select your rectangle tool. You don't want to grab this line. You want to be a little bit away from it. And you want to go up uh, just about to the, the center of your house. Like that. Right mouse button cancel. Right mouse button cancel. Set the level to dormer roof. And select roof. I'm going to pick, pick walls. I'm going to set the overhang to one foot. And check define slope. Select this wall. And select this wall just a little bit to the right of the wall and turn off Define Slope and select this wall just a little bit below it. Select your Line Tool and draw a line from here to here it should be connected. Finish your roof. Hover over one wall, tab until all of them are highlighted and then select all of them. 
come back to the top constraint for the wall and set it to unconnect from unconnected to dormer roof. Go to 3D view. My dormer should look like this. I want to delete this wall because I want to walk into the dormer area, so I'm going to highlight it and delete it. My next step is to attach these two roofs. So I want to select one of the roofs, and that makes this context menu available, this one here, Join Roofs. And if you notice down here, it says select an edge at the end of the roof that you wish to join. So orbit around and select the edge of the dormer roof, the inside edge of the dormer roof. And then it says select the face of another roof or wall which you want to attach the roof to. So we're going to select this roof. And now, if you look, the two roofs are joined. But there isn't an opening. Okay, the, this first roof is still there, so we need to create an opening. Before I do that, I want to connect these wall, this wall to the roof, dormer roof. I'm going to select one wall and tab until all of them are selected. And then I'm going to attach top to base, and I'm going to point to this roof, and I attach these walls to the dormer roof. I'm going to go ahead and create my opening in the roof for the dormer. I'm going to go back to architecture and select this command, dormer, and just follow the, the steps. It says select a roof to be cut by the dormer opening, so I'm going to select this roof, and then it says pick a joined roof, a side face of a wall, so I'm going to this is the roof I've, I've joined, so I'm going to select that roof. And then it says, select a side face wall. And so you can either select the inside faces of the walls or the outside. And I've done it both ways. It depends on how you want your, the, it depends on the design of your house. But I'm going to select the outside this time. I'm going to select this, the outside of this wall, the outside of that wall, and the outside of this wall. Now, if you hover around, you'll notice that you have an outline of where your cutout is going to be. And it has to be somewhat closed. There could be gaps. But if you do not have a, an outline, a Revit will not be able to cut the roof. So once you have that outline, finish. And if you notice now, there's a cutout in the roof. I'm going to go to my west elevation. And I can grab these walls and move them in and align them. Going back to 3D. going to hover over one of the walls, select tab, select all the walls, and come down here to temporary hide isolate and hide the element. And you can see that there's a cutout in the roof. 